What's up, YouTube? This is DEFCON 3 Security coming at you from somewhere here on Spaceship Earth. Uh, today I'm rocking a Honda Civic. Pretty nice car. This is uh, one of the cars I mentioned in my last video. I think I paid total for this vehicle, 1000 bucks. It gets um, roughly 38 to 41 miles per gallon. So you do the math, right? And driving this for four months, it pays for itself, assuming you spend $300 a month on gas like I do with a bigger vehicle. This one, I save money and uh, this car is basically paid for, right? So today's video, um, I'm going to talk about different um, media used for body armor, right? So the first thing that you guys are familiar with are Kevlar vests. And I got to do this video quick, dude, because I, I literally took off my gear just to make this video. And now I'm exposed. So this is your typical Kevlar vest. This one happens to be a 3A, which means it can uh, withstand uh, almost every handgun out there on the market, including a 357 Magnum, 9mm, you name it. As a matter of fact, all the armor that I'm going to show you today can withstand... Um, bullets from all of those different calibers uh, the only thing this won't save you from is like a uh like a rifle because the bullet travels so quickly we're talking um, i don't know thousand feet per second right versus a uh, a handgun where it's like 600 feet per second now i'm making up that number by the way but you get the idea right so this is your typical kevlar vest super lightweight you see it's pretty thin uh, Kevlar, just uh, if you guys don't know, it's it's a material that's woven really tightly uh, and it crosses over like this and then they put layers of it over each other and that way the bullet can't go through. It gets, essentially if the bullet hits it, it goes and it, it like, or actually this way, the bullet will hit it and then it just goes and it kind of grabs it and bundles up. So this can uh, take a couple of hits before the fabric sort of bundles up on itself uh, too much and then it becomes ineffective uh, this particular model what is this this is called a um, sir it's just called survivor armor that's the company that names it uh, let's see here man I'm sorry I'm trying to find the front of this thing this is uh there we go survivor armor right this thing wasn't cheap this was like uh I think it was going for 1800 bucks but i got it on craigslist for super cheap um i'm looking for the name and it's sitting here right in front of me there we go survivor armor right and this is their uh phoenix edition um 3a armor so it can withstand just about everything but again back to the um description so you see it's super lightweight it covers your entire body the other and now obviously this slides into a carrier otherwise it would just look absolutely ugly so this goes on your body and then these wrap around your side uh, and it gives you full protection i love kevlar it's super lightweight it does wrap around your whole body and gives you a lot of coverage right uh in this particular brand they even have a little sight glass here so you can see the actual kevlar in here and be able to tell if it's getting old or bad so this right here is not the Kevlar. This is just some plasticky material that keeps the Kevlar safe in there, somewhat waterproof, if you will. Uh, but the actual Kevlar is in here. And again, they've provided this little sight glass so you can uh, see in there, which is a nice touch. But that's what you get when you spend extra money on Kevlar and not go for the cheap stuff. So again, there's your Kevlar, lightweight. The next level uh, of protection, or actually the same amount of protection, but uh, cheaper, right? Now this right here, thousand bucks. The next thing is body armor, right? You guys can probably buy an entire body armor, uh, vest for about 150 bucks on eBay and it covers the front and the back. Now I only have like this six by nine piece of body armor. I only slide it down into my chest. So if a bullet does hit me, it hits this and then the Kevlar is behind this. But you can just have an entire vest made of strictly body armor. And you see it's it's uh, pretty solid. I will say it's pretty heavy. Um, this happens to be uh, kind of on the thin side. If you were to purchase body armor online, you're going to find it's a little bit thicker than this. Now again, this is kind of heavy. And you could imagine if it covered my entire 
torso and back how heavy that would be I mean we're talking like 25 30 pounds of, of extra weight just by having this whereas my Kevlar this entire thing is probably three pounds so I wish I had a scale so we could uh, go through it but uh, yeah so this is actually called a trauma plate uh, it's designed to go into a little unzipped pocket in the Kevlar vest and then you slide this in and it gives you um, a little bit of uh, I, I guess it's supposed to disperse the energy if a bullet were to hit you dead center it would disperse the energy and, and kind of help you out. So again, this is just your, and it's not bendable, just so you know. I'm, I'm bending it, but it's not bending. Uh, and it has some sort of uh, coating on here. feels sort of rubberized. Uh, the, the idea behind this rubberized coating is that if the bullet hits it, it keeps it from uh, shrapneling as much. So you don't get all these little fragments flying up and hitting you in the face. So uh, this is just an option I decided to buy this so that I can slide it with my Kevlar vest. It is not needed, but um, the fact that it's not all that big, I said, you know what, I don't mind having this on my chest and then having the Kevlar uh, as an extra added protection. So there you go. These are called armor plating. So again, Kevlar vest, armor plating. The last thing you can buy is something called ceramic uh, body plating. Dude, I bought two pieces of ceramic to go on my sides right to protect my side uh, by the way I don't need that anymore because this Kevlar vest folds over and gives me side protection but before I had this vest I had another vest that looked just like this it was just rectangle yeah rectangular right so it didn't have any side protection so I bought these ceramic plates ceramic plates cost you about well these cost me $28 a pair they're relatively inexpensive Supposedly they're lightweight. Dude, they are not lightweight. You ready? These are ceramic plates. Can you hear that? This is heavy. I feel like I'm holding two um, cutouts of bricks. I mean, this stuff is, it, yeah, it's thick as heck, right? Look at that. Uh, it clanks because it's uh, made out of ceramic. Um, I did spray paint these because when you originally get it, it um, has a texture to it that feels kind of like glass and you will have all these little particles in your hand for days like scratchy uh, if you don't uh, spray paint it. As a matter of fact, when I bought this, they um, they told me to um, spray paint it. I don't know why they wouldn't do it, but um, they said spray paint it so that you don't get the little fibers or whatnot on you. So again, guys, this is ceramic plating. I think I paid 38 bucks for both of these. I was going to slide it into the sides. They didn't fit. The pockets that I had were just way too um, too small to slide these in. So I ended up just, these are paperweights. I mean, they're, they're actually too heavy to even be paperweights. But there you go, man. These are um, just ceramic plates. And uh, I don't know what I can say about it. I, I really don't care too much for them. Maybe one day I'll give these away on a giveaway or somebody that actually needs them. But there you go. I just wanted to show you the three different levels. So you've got... Uh, body armor you've got heavy ceramic plating and then you've got Kevlar those are your three options Kevlar cost a lot this right here not so much but it's very heavy these right here cost even less but dude they are like carrying bricks on you could you imagine having this on your whole body it would it's just impractical so in my humble opinion stay away from the ceramic plates get either armor plating or uh, Kevlar. All right, guys, so that's it. I'm sorry, this felt like a little bit rushed, but here's the deal. As you can see, I'm sweating. My windows are rolled up. There's somebody out there and I didn't want to hear them, uh, have them hear me talking. It'd be embarrassing as hell. Um, also, I don't have any armor on right now and I feel so vulnerable uh, on this job site. I happen to be on my break and I thought, eh, why not? Let me take this apart and show you guys the different levels and what they actually look like so you can have a side-by-side -side comparison um, so there you go uh, other than that I can't say there's really anything new you know I'm gonna start adding a little bit of bonus footage in every video but since I'm not at home I'm literally gonna upload this on the job site so I'm not in front of a computer to actually um, to edit something into it so sorry guys 
maybe my next video I'll start adding a little bit of um, bonus footage in there. Uh, typically, if I add bonus footage, it will start off with an intro. So you'll know that that video will have bonus footage in it. I won't always say uh, in every video, hey, I'm going to put bonus video, right? Those are like little secret Easter eggs. So just know that if it has an intro in the beginning of the video, the intro being me getting suited up, you can be assured that that video is going to have some bonus footage. I don't know where. You're going to have to watch the whole video to find where it's at. Um, and there you go. Again, thank you so much for the support. I'm getting so many awesome comments. Uh, I was just going through all my comments and I'm like, dude, I don't really get trolled. Most people on here are super positive. Um, nobody's talking about politics or nothing, which is just so awesome. So thank you guys so much for supporting me. Um, I'll try to do like another video tonight. I have another product I want to show you guys. So I might do it tonight uh, if I have enough light. Right now it's like almost 7 o'clock, so I'm losing light. Um, other than that, guys, hey, you know your worth, right? You know your value. Value your time. Above all, be safe.